श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम When spiritual practice is understood as learning from every experience of our life that is spiritual practice then the same practice also helps us when we are sitting every day with the lord for mm. half an hour one hour or two <coughs> so every day when we sit we learn something new and therefore our meditation doesn't become a mechanical drill and when it is not a mechanical drill there is joy in it anything which you do mechanically you lose charm in that see then we drag through that is one of the reasons why many seekers they lose their charm of life only because they have been mechanically doing it and this thing happens only when we are caught up in the finite finite things can be mechanically repeated but when we enter the infinite it cannot be mechanical because infinite being only one you cannot repeat it therefore every meditation ultimately ends in being unique which cannot be repeated so when we are sitting or meditation don't have any pre formed notions don't have any kind of imagination that i am going to experience this i am going to experience that no objectivity has to be dropped completely therefore every meditation is a surprise we don't know what is going to happen then we discover various subtle steps and they cannot be brought out from outside and they cannot be taught by anybody like when we swim we discover our own techniques nobody teaches us in the same manner meditation is such a smooth effortless glide like fish to the water if there are efforts if there are struggles we are far away from the truth therefore initially to make us self oriented we have to start the process of withdrawal and these initial things which we told you let the body posture be such that we don't have to think about the body at all initially what we told you is necessary subsequently it doesn't matter what posture you are 
because getting out of the body identification becomes a matter of a snap. It doesn't take much time. So, we sit properly, then we as if talk to ourselves. What I spoke to you, talk to yourself. Now I am happy and cheerful. Nobody has compelled me to come and sit for meditation. The whole atmosphere inside your mind will change. Now in my heart is my beloved Lord and Guru Maharaj. The Lord protects me from within. The Guru guides me from within. Then at this moment I am nobody. So the total past is dropped. I have no plans what I will do after meditation. So the future is gone. <coughs> Now to get out of the body, we instruct ourselves. Relax the head muscles, relax the forehead, and you can distinctly experience how the mind drops these contents, step by step. Relax the eyebrows, relax the eyelids, let there be no pressure on the eyeballs. And we don't have to see anything, therefore no concentration. Concentration is always on others. Self-awareness. There is no self-concentration. Relax the nose, lips. Let the chin be relaxed. Relax the face muscles, the ears, the neck from all the four sides. Hang down the shoulders. Relax the shoulder joints, upper arms, elbows, lower arm, wrist, arms, and fingers. Relax, relax, relax. Relax the shoulders, the chest, the abdomen. Go downwards up to the floor. Relax the sides. Relax the back. Relax the hips, hip joints. Thighs, knees, calf muscles. Relax the ankles heels and toes.
and we are out of the body. Because we are out of the body, thoughts in relation to the body should not erupt. But if the thoughts in relation to the body are erupting, that means our process of relaxation was not complete. One sign of relaxation is the breathing becomes slow and shallow. So let us remain aware of <coughs> this slow and shallow breathing. Now let us play being gross space. If we take any name, it will have to be repeated. Wherever there is a repetition, sequence is born, mind is enlivened, concept of time is created. And hence, we make space as the object of awareness. So when the mind plays being space, there won't be any repetition. Space being infinite and one.
because of the old habit the mind will start the chatter so remind yourself no more talking nothing to talk and nothing to listen both the body and the space disappears thus we have dropped the gross space and entered the mind space and the space does not have any impressions of the contents the mind space also does not have the impression of this experience and hence we cannot make a memory of this experience so when the world of experience and the experience of the world is dissolved in the gross and the mind space respectively we have entered the conscious space chidakash chidakash is the solid space because in this experience there is no sense of otherness
when the pod breaks the pod space merges with the total space it is not an achievement for the pod space because it was always the total space in the same manner there is no achievement in meditation even before meditation during meditation after meditation we are divine whether we know or not
take a deep breath or two slowly and see the body is included in the mind so far it was not move the toes and the fingers and now the notion that i am inside the body the world is outside has become real and the samsara begins offer everything at the feet of the lord empty yourself ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाशाति शाति हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम